Last year, Serena divorced her husband, Cliff, after allegations arose that he was abusing her son. However, after her son said that it wasn't true, she decided to give Cliff another chance. Now, they want to get remarried, but first, Serena must find out the truth. Take a look. It was just the fact that she was saying that I was abusing my stepson, like I was hitting him, I wasn't feeding him, you know, I was leaving marks and bruises and whelps on him, which was, was not true. So my wife went off on what the babysitter had said. She never really uh, saw any physical marks on the child or anything. It was just that the fact that his behavior was different. You know, he was acting different. He was acting more nervous and he was always wanting her to be at home. And I think that's just a result of every child wanting their family to be together and their mom to be at home. I would never abuse him. And just the fact that there's no physical evidence, there's no physical proof, there's no bruises, but it was just the fact that the babysitter said that I had abused my stepson and then the fact that my stepson's behavior was acting different. When it comes to disciplining my stepson, it was just more like timeouts or a spanking on the behind. You know, I can probably count on one hand how many times I've spanked him on his behind with a belt. But of course, all of these things were in, in correction and discipline in a loving manner for the child not to be abusive or to abuse my authority as an adult. I'm not a monster. I love my son, I would never do that. So every night that I go to sleep, I always pray that of course my innocence is bought out. You know, I always think about the situation constantly plays over my head. But with me knowing the truth resonated in myself that I would never abuse my stepson, um, I'm just here to clear my name and I'm just here to make sure that people know that that's not the type of person that I am. And to also give Serena that peace of mind and knowing that we can move forward in our relationship and that I would never, ever abuse my stepson and our kids are safe. He's pretty much right where, you know, it was told to me that he was doing that, but it wasn't just that I'm going off of somebody's word. I paid attention to my son. His behavior was tr extremely different and it bothered me. And I'm not gonna be one of those mothers who don't pay attention and don't believe their kids and dismiss things. Um. How long were you and Cliff together? We've been together off and on since we were 18, and we got married um, at 22, I believe. So how would you describe the relationship? We had a very good relationship. You know, I love this man. I, words can't describe how much I love this man. So you love him, and you want yes. to be with him. Yes, but But you we, need to find out yes. whether he did this. We have been separated since 2015, though, so it's, it's just, it was like, wow. And when my son tells the therapist in front of me, oh, Cliff never beat me, it was just mind blowing. Because that was the thing that drove the wedge between them. Yes. Right. One day I'm coming home from work and the babysitter's like, this very serious, dramatic look on her face. And she's like, I have to tell you something, it's serious. I'm like, okay, I'm getting scared and nervous. What's going on, my kids okay? Well. Cliff is beating and mistreating your son when you're away from work. He, um, he gives the other kids, uh, our other two children, snacks and, and food and stuff like that, and he's barely feeding him. He's hitting on him. And I'm like, hitting on him how? Because, you know, he's been in his life since he was one years old. He raised him. Right. So, you know, my son used to call him daddy. So it was very disheartening for me, and I was totally shocked, like, how could this be? Let's meet your ex-husband, Cliff. Can you explain to me how he was going from loving you to being terrified of you and now he's saying this never happened. I don't understand, and that's why we're here. I need the clarity. I, I think that the, I would never ever, first off, abuse him. And so that really bothered me when that was said. I mean, I can't explain why he was acting different. I think kids go through different things where sometimes it's like, hey, I want to be with mommy. Sometimes I want to be with daddy. So that was but you really- know he always wanted to be with you. Always. All the time. So I was I a bit think, jealous because he wanted to be with him more than the times and, he wanted to be with me. And, and then the it was thing, a dramatic I think that change. The time that he was spending away made a huge difference in the impact of his behavior. Now, I mean you are an extremely big mm -hmm, guy. Mm -hmm. Could you have been a little over the top 
heavy-handed with the boy. I mean, as parents, we all get frustrated with our kids. Sure. Like, hey, you shouldn't have did this, you shouldn't have did that, but it's never to a stream where I'm gonna hurt you. How hard has it been for you to be divorced from her? I mean, it's been very difficult because I feel like it's severed our whole family. You want to be back together with her? Yeah. Would you like to be married again? Yeah. Yeah. And how do you feel? <laughs> I can't wait for the results, so it can be done, so we can move forward. So you have a lot of confidence that he's going to pass his lie detector. I do, test. but I, I can't move forward without the results. And that's totally understandable, so let's find out. Cliff comes here, takes a lie detector test, and we ask him, did you ever strike Serena's son leaving marks or bruises? He answered no. Did you ever strike Serena's son causing any injuries? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Cliff did not tell the truth. <gasps> I'm not saying that I believe that you were trying to be abusive. You're a big guy, and you know, she's upset. Mm. I don't know if you want to follow her, but hear, hear me out. Now, and I've Serena, whooped I would him, like... and she's whooped him, but if I've used excessive force, it's not me intentionally okay. saying I'm gonna abuse I'm and hurt him. And I'm agreeing with so you. So I would never do that. I'm agreeing with you here. And so it's for it to say that I've so lied about everything. Is, I, I think maybe when you did this, you don't even realize what you're doing. You're, what, 6'5", 6'6", 300 pounds? Yeah, but I've never pounds? caused an injury to okay. the child, though. My question to you is, if he went over the top with discipline, not trying to abuse, but with discipline, is it something that you can work past and say, okay, so we need to have guidelines with discipline? We're in family therapy now. I, I don't even have any words right now. I don't. I don't have any well, words. I, just from my observation, from me talking to him, he doesn't seem like a bad guy, okay? We get really horrible people on this show. I don't think he's lying, his love for you. I think he does want to be married to you. Maybe he made a mistake. You know, that's all I'm saying. I don't want to, you know. And is that what, the, what does it, but is that enough to end this marriage? When this allegation came out, did you examine him? Yeah. Did you see anything? No. Okay. So that's my point. Maybe there was a time when you disciplined, you caused them to be afraid. Kids can easily be afraid, especially after they've been disciplined. So I, I'm saying I, you're getting professional help. I honestly feel like this, to, to clear me, because this is, this is real. This is not nothing that's this scripted. This is real life. This is my life. Right. I would never intensely, as a grown man, abuse a child. That's just something I wouldn't do. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever seen my show before? Yes. You've seen me scream at people? Yeah. Chase them out of the studio, yeah. yell them? Yeah. Am I doing that to you right no, now? No, absolutely not. Because I'm agreeing with you a little bit here. People do maybe make mistakes, not even knowing they make mistakes. Can you save your marriage? Can you repair this relationship? I believed in before. It's just I didn't want to feel like that stupid, naive parent. And I don't think you are. And I think you've done everything right. And I think if you continue to get therapy and counseling for your family, I think this is something that you can move past and maybe save your relationship with Cliff and that you guys can be a family. So I wish you all the luck in the world. And I hope it does work out for you. Thanks for coming on, Cliff. If you like what you see, all new episodes are coming and you do not want to miss out. Click subscribe now.